Hello everyone! The Inside Football channel is here again. Already at the end of November, we will be able to find out who won the Ballon d'Or in 2021. A list of 30 nominees for the award was revealed to the public and the main contender for the award is still Lionel Messi from Argentina. We have already made a video on why Messi should receive the Ballon d'Or in 2021, but since then the time and the rate have changed and Leo himself managed to say a lot of interesting things on the topic. For example, he would gladly vote for his competitors, after all they had a top-notch season to consider. Obviously, I have two players in my team that I would vote for, Neymar and Kylian Mbappe. Afterwards, there are players at the individual level who have had a great season, like Robert Lewandowski, Karim Benzema, they are also worthy of the Ballon d'Or, Messi stated in an interview with France Football. Could it be that Leo is going to give his award to Robert Lewandowski or another competitor? And how much did the transition to PSG reduce his chances of getting the 7th Ballon d'Or? We are about to tell you all the details in a minute. But first, subscribe to our channel so as not to miss brand new releases and also give a like to this one. Done? Let's get started then! Less than 50 days are left until the Ballon d'Or ceremony. It'll take place on November 29th at the famous Parisian theater Shadow. More recently, we found out a list of 30 nominees – footballers who claim the title of the season's best player according to France Football. Among them are the young 18-year-old Pedri from Barcelona, young stars Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland, and even the aging Luis Suarez, whom Barca abandoned a year ago. There are also quite heavyweight contenders, as always, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are on the list too. So, what are the odds of the applicants? The smallest goes on Leo Messi, with only two and a half. It seems that winning the Copa America and pulling Barcelona out of the abyss will still secure Messi's seventh Ballon d'Or. The possible presentation of the word is also hinted at by the fact that France Football recently interviewed Leo, possibly recording additional footage for the ceremony with him. By the way, Leo became the main contender according to the bookies not long ago, as before that, he was on the par with the rest. The numbers were affected by one event, but more on that a little later. Second on the list is Chelsea's Brazilian midfielder Jorginho. The batting chance for his victory is 6. This footballer is said to be victorious, winning both the Champions League and the last season's Euro tournament. Jorginho also received the best player of the season prize from UEFA. Only the third is the Bayern striker from Poland, Robert Lewandowski. His rate is 7. Last year, this guy was supposed to receive the Ballon d'Or, but a pandemic thwarted all plans and the presentation of the award was cancelled. Last year, Robert won the Champions League with Bayern Munich, and this year he also provided himself great at the individual level. He scored 41 goals in the Bundesliga, breaking the eternal record of Gerrit Müller. This season, the guy didn't slow down. 7 appearances and 7 goals in the league. Besides, Lewandowski has become virtually irreplaceable in Bayern. As soon as he got injured for a match last spring, and the team was immediately knocked out of the Champions League by PSG. He even carries the national team of Poland literally on his shoulders. At Euro 2020, he slotted three, which are 75% of the goals that Poland scored in this tournament. Further on the list, we are to find two Premier League representatives, N'Golo Kante from Chelsea and Kevin De Bruyne from Manchester City. Both have better odds of about 12. Kante was a key factor in helping Chelsea triumph at the Champions League and De Bruyne to get the Professional Football Association's England Player of the Year for the second time in a row. Both players haven't achieved significant success with the national team, and that is why they both trudge towards the bottom of the list of favorites. Almost all football experts are supporting Messi. It will be difficult for competitors to overcome Messi. He had a great first part of the season and then won the Cup America with Argentina, said former England and Barcelona player Gary Lineker. How would you give the Ballon d'Or in 2021? Leave your version in the comments and be sure to give a like to the candidate you appreciate. Leo Messi himself reacts very humbly to the fact that literally everyone around him wants him to go for it for the seventh Ballon d'Or. I don't feel like a favorite, and I never liked to talk about it before. If it happened, it would be great. It's already exceptional to have six, so a seventh would be amazing," Leo stated in an interview with France Football. Messi also speculated on what needs to be achieved in order to become the owner of the Ballon d'Or. 
It's hard to say because what you have done at the collective level means a lot to win the Ballon d'Or. Lately, the titles have a lot of weight. If you won the Champions League, the Euro, the Cup America, the fact that you are achieving the key goals is an important factor. We are very pleased to hear that Leo adequately evaluates his achievements and capabilities. Moreover, we need to remember his quote about the fact that he would give his voice to direct competitors. That is a very strong move from Messi. If the Argentinian would have it, he would give the word to Lewandowski, so that the pole finally receives the well-deserved prize. You see, our Leo Messi is a very humble and good guy. Earlier on, he noted the level of his direct competitors, voting for those who could outstrip him in the final results. For example, while choosing the FIFA Player of the Year in 2018, Messi included Luka Modric, who won the tournament, and even Cristiano Ronaldo himself in his list. Can you imagine such a turn of events? Leo doesn't need to imagine such a thing, he just recognized the greatness of his rival. Striker Robert Lewandowski has a completely different opinion. He, as a contender for the trophy, is also bombarded by journalists with all sorts of questions and Robert answers directly. Yes, I won the Ballon d'Or and I did enough to win it. It's difficult for me to say how important performances with the national team will be in the context of the Ballon d'Or. Obviously, any good performance can strengthen my position. I don't think I could have done any more, apart from the national team success, of course. I have shown that I'm a player who is thinking about the Ballon d'Or. It would be a great pride, a real honor. The mere fact that I'm among the favorites fills me with real pride. I hope that there will be no politics in all of this and votes will consider only what the player has achieved in the last season," Lewandowski concluded. Earlier on, L'Equipe newspaper reported that two Ballon d'Ors could be presented at once in the fall. That means the award will be given for both 2020 and 2021. In this case, Lewandowski could definitely count on one, since he was the most notable footballer of last year, despite the ceremony being cancelled due to the pandemic. However, the information has not yet been confirmed by France Football itself. But uh, what if they want to make such a surprise? However, Robert still has a chance of getting his Ballon d'Or for 2021. And now we are going to reveal which one. By the way, we are not talking about the fact that Louis Messi will personally present the award to the poll from Bayern because of his conscience tormenting him. Until the end of the voting, the poll still has what it takes to outstrip Messi in the media and score enough goals to confirm his entitlement to the award. In general, Lewandowski's club season came out even better. While Messi was carrying Barcelona on his shoulders, Robert was breaking records and solely focused on scoring goals. His scoring streak lasted seven months. Lewandowski entered the pitch and got the job done, basically in every damn game he participated. Another obvious favorite for the Ballon d'Or is Chelsea and Italy's midfielder Jorginho. He is praised as an iconic player in his respective squads, winning both the Champions League and the Euro. In addition, Jorginho has already won the UEFA Men's Player of the Year prize. Surely, the Italian will receive a lot of votes for the reasons above. As for this moment, Messi has a hard time adapting to PSG. He showed a top performance against Manchester City, scoring a goal. But things are looking tough for him. He is not the only stellar unit in the attack anymore. Which means the club's game is not built around him. It is difficult for Aliou to get used to Paris. But his name speaks for him. After the first goal for a new club occurred, the batting campaigns again made him the main contender for the Ballon d'Or with an enviable advantage. Actually, it would be amazing if France football decided to present two awards for the last year and for this one. Then, each footballer would be noted for his rather big merits. However, the list of nominees was announced only for 2021, which practically deprives us of the chance to see the presentation of two awards. But you never know, maybe the French will surprise us all. Does France football need to hand over to Ballon d'Ors, or will there still be one award and one winner? We are waiting for your opinions in the comments. Well, it was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see ya in a bit.